hey cuties, so in today's role playing video, the hated child becomes a celebrity. Ugh, what are they doing in there that is taking so long? Every time I go to the doctor, it doesn't take this long. What the heck are they even doing in there? Maybe they had to give mom a shot and she really didn't want one, so they're trying to hold her down. That's definitely happened to me before. <laughs> Mackenzie, can you come in here, please? There's someone I would like you to meet. I am so confused, but okay. Whoa, is that like a magic trick or something? Kenzie, we want you to meet your new baby sister, Marley. Oh my gosh, I only thought you came to the hospital when you were sick. I didn't know you could get a baby at them, too. Oh, uh, God, Mackenzie, what kind of greeting is that to your brand new little sister? Can't you do something right for a change? What? What are you talking about, Daddy? Don't you daddy me. I'm talking about the fact that this is your little sister and the new center of our lives, and I thought you were at least good enough to give her a proper introduction. Your father is right, Mackenzie. Ugh, you are such a disappointment. All we can do is hope Marley doesn't grow up like you. A disappointment? Me? But I thought you always said I was your little princess. Yeah, that was before. We thought you were cool, but now that Marley is here, we know exactly how amazing a daughter can be. What are you saying? Are you saying that you like Marley more than you like me? Well, Mackenzie, don't be dumb. That is exactly what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> now stop crying like a little baby and come hug your sister. Okay, okay, now Marley, you dance and I'll film you. Maybe we'll go viral and then we'll be celebrities. That would be so cool, sis. Okay, I'll dance and get ready to record. Marley, get away from her. <gasps> How dare you, Mackenzie? You know very well that when the sun is up, you are to be doing chores. But mom, the sun is up like 10 hours a day. Yeah, exactly. Take the hint. But mom, we were just playing around. It's no big deal. No big deal. Marley, I do not want your sister corrupting you with her lazy and useless ways. You don't have to be so mean to her. Um, mom, you know I'm sitting right here. I can hear you. Good. Well, I said it loud. Now, Mackenzie, pick up your mop and bucket and start back to your chores. Marley, you can come with me and my little angel princess. Where are we going? I heard that kid vloggers have gone viral again. I thought since you were the most perfect kid in the world, we would start your YouTube career early. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Mackenzie, didn't I just tell you to grab your mop and bucket? Ugh, just another day in paradise. The next day. You want me to push you really, really high? Nah. You want me to spin you around so you go super fast? I'm not in the mood. Okay, girly, you're really starting to freak me out. You don't want to spin and you don't want to be pushed. What is going on? Oh, nothing. It's just my parents. Did they make you wash all the windows before you could eat dinner again? No, thankfully not that. But you know how they can be. I just feel like ever since Marley was born, they just hate me. Come on, girly. I know that's not true. Oh, yes, it is. You should see how they act, Sky. They are not very subtle about it. Marley is the favorite child and I am the hated child. The only reason they keep me around is so I can do all the chores. Well, I've given you a solution to the problem and you don't like it. Oh, Sky, I can't move in with you. Why do I even bother then? And now it's just about favoring Marley. They want to make her a celebrity. A celebrity? Really? Oh, come on, girly. That little pipsqueak has literally no talent. Hey, that's my little sister. It's not her fault that our parents are so awful. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, what do they want her to do? I mean, can she sing, dance, juggle, do anything? No, considering I've never seen her juggle. She can't even carry a tune in a bucket. And she has two left feet, but that's not what they're talking about. My mom wants her to be a kid vlogger. A vlogger? Like those kids who record themselves talking to the camera and make tons and tons of money from doing it and gain like a bajillion followers? Basically, and they have no problem pushing me out of the way when they're doing it. Um, I hate to point out the obvious here, girly, but have you ever considered, um, I don't know, beating them at their own game? What? What do you mean? Oh, here not gonna really make me spell it out for you, are you? Kenzie, you should make your own vlog. What? No, 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 Sky, that is like a crazy idea. There are no crazy ideas, girl. Either are just people that don't follow through with them. And it's a genius idea. How is making a video and going up against my sister a genius idea? It's just maybe your video will be a big hit. And what would that do? Oh, girly, come on, look over there. The play structure is open. Sky, come on, you can't just run away. Come answer me. What good would that do? Well, if I have to spell out everything for you. If your video gets recognized, maybe that you could be the celebrity and not Marley. Oh, yeah? Then my parents would kill me. Or you could have enough fame and money that you could just move out. Come on, girly. You've been living in your little sister's shadow long enough. It's time to forget what your parents say and film your own videos. What would I even make it about? I don't 
know something that other people can relate to. Hmm, well, it just so happens that I've got an idea. Later that same evening. Ugh, there you are. We have been filming your sister's videos all day. And you haven't been there to adjust the lighting for her, you selfish little brat. Sorry, Mom. I'll get right on that. Well, clearly it doesn't help us now, Mackenzie, since we're done filming, man. All you ever do is think about yourself. Not a good quality. Not a good quality at all. Okay, Mom. Okay, now how exactly do I do this? Do I need, like, a tripod or something? There's fat chance my parents are just gonna let me use Marley's. Or do I just hold the phone and talk to it as if it's a person? Man, this YouTube thing is harder than I realized. Okay, okay, I guess I'll just stand and hold the camera. Ahem. <clears throat> Hi, guys. My name's Mackenzie. And, well, this is gonna be my first video. Okay, uh, this is awkward. What do I say? Ooh, I better edit that part out. Anyway, uh, does anyone else ever feel like they hate a child? You know, like you come in second to your siblings? Well, if you do, then you're totally not alone, because I feel like that too. Oh, look at this. This is actually getting a little bit easier. I mean, seriously, like what is up with having a favorite child? You think if you're going to have kids, you're going to love them equally, right? And if not, why even have kids? It doesn't really make any sense to me. I mean, they say that love doesn't divide. It multiplies. So shouldn't your heart have enough room to love your kids equally and be there for everyone? I don't know. Just my thoughts. Well, that's all for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. That is, if anyone actually watches this. The next day. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Last night, a local teenager's vlog has gone viral, reaching kids all over the world on a serious and controversial issue. Marley, Marley, come here, my precious child. They have to be talking about you. What is going on, and why are you squealing so early in the morning, Mom? Yeah, what is going on? Ugh, I didn't say for you to come in. There's just, like, bad energy around you. It's contagious. Anyways, a local teenager's video has gone viral, so clearly it's you, and oh my god, it's happening! You clearly become a celebrity! Are you sure it's me? My video kind of sucked, Mom. Marley, don't you ever say anything about yourself like that again! Save it for Mackenzie! Again? Do you realize I'm standing right here? Local teenager Mackenzie's video has captured a nation. Reports are calling her a new overnight sensation. <gasps> Mackenzie? Oh, Mackenzie, it's you! Talent agents all over Hollywood are trying to find this mysterious new talent as she is believed to be one of the biggest next celebrities of this generation. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. How dare you? Mom, I didn't do anything. I just shared my story. You didn't do anything, you ungrateful little troll. You stole your sister's spotlight. Mom, leave her alone. We all saw my video and doing TikTok dances from last year. It was never going to get me famous place. Oh, yes, it was. You were so close to your dream if your sister hadn't stolen it from you. But it was never my dream, Mom. Um, hello? Mackenzie, you hear the phone ringing. Move your butt and answer it. Hello? Hello, is this Mackenzie? Speaking. Hello, I am a Beverly Hills agent who represents all the biggest talent in Hollywood. I'm glad I caught you. Hi, um, yes, hi, I am too. Are you sure you meant to call me though? I'm really not anybody. Oh, yes, you are. That's why I wanted to call you and reach you before the rest of the vultures could get a hold of you. I know a star when I see one. A star? Me? Yes, I want to sign you as a new celebrity. I will send you a private jet for you and you are to come to Hollywood tomorrow to make it official. Um, okay, yeah, see you then. What was that about? I was an agency in Hollywood. They want to sign me up as a new celebrity. Okay, okay, this is perfect. We can work with this. Mom, isn't this a great opportunity for Mackenzie? Oh, honey, you know we don't care about Mackenzie, but we do care about you, my shining little star. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We all go to the Hollywood, and then when we're there, we will simply force them to sign Marley instead. I mean, once they see Marley as opposed to Mackenzie, it will be an obvious choice. But, Mom, what if I don't want to do that? You listen to me, you little brat. If you blow this for your sister in any way, I will make sure you never see the light of day again. Do you understand me? The next day... You can tell me anything. I don't want to do this, Mackenzie. I don't want to sign with them. I don't want to be a celebrity. I just want to have a normal life. Well, what are we supposed to do? You heard, Mom. It's okay. I have a plan. Moments later. Sorry to keep you all waiting. You know how demanding some Beverly Hills clients can be. Now, Mackenzie, I have all the papers for you to sign to make this official. Ahem, yeah, about that. Uh, such sad news. It looks like Mackenzie won't be able to sign, but her sister Marley can. Right, Marley? No. What? What did you just say to me? You heard me. No, Mom. 
um, this is Mackenzie's opportunity, and I'm not gonna take it away from her. Sorry, Mr. Agent Man, sir. You heard wrong, and I am totally able to sign. Mackenzie, you stop and think about what you're doing. If you go through and sign that contract, I will make sure you never, ever leave the basement as long as you shall live. You will wax our cars and mop the floors and never have a life of your own. Um, well, as legal as that all sounds, Mackenzie, once you sign with us, there's a huge cash advance, so you could just take the money and get your own place. Sure. That sounds great. Hey, can I move in with you? You bet. No! One eternity later. Mackenzie! Mackenzie! Let me in. I am still your mother. Um, I'm sorry, ma'am. This is a sold-out signing for a new YouTube star, Mackenzie. I'm afraid I cannot let you in there. No, no, you don't understand. I am her mother. Yeah, yeah, sure you are. Come on, lady. Get lost. <laughs> 